This one's called my meadow. Ah, ah ha ha. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> 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 Who will I show my poem to first? Me some. <laughs> I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> I'm not hiding anything. But your poems are so good. <laughs> Yesterday's and this one's too. You can't tell me I haven't done this before. <laughs> I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way. So it's fine, I'm getting into the character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no way. No, you're Natsuki. Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she likes something. <laughs> it's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking oh. about you. Oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Stop thinking weird things, idiot. Idiot. I just meant that you really expressive person, I guess. But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Mm hmm Like cooking. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Oh shit, what happened? How bad she is burned she at the cooking? house or whatever. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, they said that in the first part. Uh, Alright, they did. We have that kind of weird connection. <laughs> you good, Santa? No, I'm just shooing away from the mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I have chocolate it, in my it, mouth. It looks like the worst. It looks song. like you're peeping at her. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah, but what the fuck? <laughs> She's standing with her ass that way, my <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, it looks funny. Was <laughs> uh, well, Santa's chicken on my butt? <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I understand. Who is Santa? I don't know, man. You don't wanna know, okay? <laughs> you never understand oh when I'm god. trying to explain things, so... <laughs> oh my god. No point in trying. Hey, <laughs> like Pat, say or his head. Pat, Pat, Pat. Pat. Oh, hey. hey. Oh my god. I'm not hey. a kid, you know. Yeah, they have like a big brother and little sister dynamic. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Maybe. Siri so starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, me some. Mm -hmm. Will you give me a poem? I kind of want to keep it. Uh, why? <laughs> because, well, it's the first time I see you've written something for me. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sayori, so you. Completely misunderstood. Oh no. I didn't write this for you. Oh! Uh. <laughs> You're breaking my heart, man. <laughs> uh. I will give it to you when we go home. Really? Snap! Oh, uh, she broke ah. my pen. What the fuck? I broke my pencil. Damn. Sayori so hastily bends down and picks up the piece she dropped. And she really is like a muscle idiot. <laughs> yeah, oh bimbo, bimbo. That's, that's the <laughs> funniest shit when yeah. they're like, I'm so clumsy. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> yeah. But being uh, inattentive of her surroundings, she bumps right oh, into no. me. So oh, sorry. Break. Oh, it's arm. fine. It's fine. I will get it for you. Oh. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Oh, no. no. Oh, oh no. no. Sayori, cl uh, <laughs> Sayori clutches the desk beside her oh, to no. support herself, knees shaking. Uh, I'm a little clumsy today. Breaks the fucking table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> my table! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's sit down, Sayori. Y yeah. I grab Sayori's arm and help her sit at the desk. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh dear god. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I will like it. Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. Bottles. <laughs> oh my god. I pop off my scalp like a little oh. cook, a little of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. 
little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. Uh, it's a sacred. Pl oh, I wait, reach. fuck. I reach inside my thumb and f forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf all with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles all in a row. <coughs> my collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friends after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave. <clears throat> Discovering secret hiding in the nooks and crannies. <coughs> oh my God. Digging and digging. Scraping and scraping. I blow dust, dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottle that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf. One after the other. Holding them out <laughs> to each every friend. Each every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for one of my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Oh my, my god, god. <laughs> it sounded like lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like a fucking death metal yeah. song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that could be a song, yeah, all right? Oh and I god. think that uh, Shakuri uh, is uh, depressed. Yeah. My fucking voice, man. <laughs> Lost my breath nearly. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, girl. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sayori, did you really write this? Yeah, it was really nice. Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, <coughs> I didn't expect something like oh this God. coming from you. Monica told me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings lately. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. What? Yeah. Creepy? It well, was very depressing. Dark yeah. and depressing. Well, not exactly. But maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like, I feel like it was meant to express myself this way. Mm. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Maybe you should talk to a professional. <laughs> yeah, but please. Writing is like magic. You have gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. oh. uh -huh. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> so you always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. Mm. I wonder if this is one of those times. Mm. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Oh no, she pissed. <laughs> oh, now Tsuki reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me then back at the poem. By now she must have read it more than once. Aren't you supposed to be bad at oh, this? Oh. She liked it. Is that a compliment? <laughs> no. No! I mean, you, you know. Natsuki struggles to find the words she wants. I, I just expected a lot less what you have shown me after what you've shown me yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's all. Well, I guess I just got lucky with this one. Yeah, exactly. You just got lucky, you know. Don't get used to it. Oh no. You want 
always manage to write poems this cute, I mean. Cute? I mean, well written. No, I mean... Ah. <laughs> That's how it is. My poem is cute. Huh? N- no? Why are you smiling? It's not like... I... It's not like I like cute things. Yes, you do, you fucking bitch. Liar! Shush. Here, have my poem. shoves my poem back at me. Uh, back towards me. Huh? Blah. Read it again. I decided that it's not so great after all. It's too cute and doki doki. <laughs> doki doki. Shush. <laughs> it's only impress, you know, girls who like kind of things. Mm. <laughs> For some reason, Natsuki is incredibly easy to see through. Oh, shit. Anyway... You gonna read mine now, right? Yes. Oh, God. Why so long now? Yeah. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Got Santa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Amy likes spiders. Ick you... Wriggly, hairy, ugly spider. That's why I'm not friends with her. <laughs> Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the word. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Mm. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. What the fuck? She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. (laughs) That's why I'm not friends with her. Okay. Amy has a lot of friends. I'm always seeing her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. Does it? It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if you keep it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better without spider lovers. I'm gonna tell everyone. Oh, she's talking about her and her and manga. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday. Yeah, it was a bit (laughs) real. Yesterday was way too short. Uh, it was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with such simple and... Uh, Oh no, I hate that word. <laughs> Analogy. And, and, and Analogy. And a lot. No. 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 And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's a, about how everyone thinks my. Oh. It doesn't matter. Mm. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Mm. Sometimes some things that you're afraid if people find out, they will make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. (laughs) I don't like writing unless uh, there's a good message to take away from it. Like covering emotion is important. Conveying emotion, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that? Let's pick Monica just to spike your ears. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yep. Hi again, Misa. Want to share what you wrote for today? Hmm. Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Hmm. All right. I like it, Misa. You always like it. Yeah. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Aha! Uh-huh. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. Oh, you bitch! And she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. 
<laughs> she always laughs like that. Yeah, if you say so. Yep! There are lots of poems or stories out there that are more than a few simple words. They can be funny and daring or even sad. And sometimes they are only a few lines long. Som vi föredrar. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So don't kill my boys. Yeah, man, yeah. please keep them short. <laughs> Say a word, please. Yeah, I'm yeah. a girl. <laughs> they might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki's Natsuki's kind of kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. But you pro probably won't find much fill filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they are super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Sure. Give it to me, bitch. <laughs> oh, Say it's short, thank god. <laughs> Hello? I don't think so. Oh, no. It keeps going. But... <laughs> Say me. The colors. They won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Cacophony? I, I can't I, read I, that. I don't know. Oh, meaningless noise. Oh. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine? Co cosine? Cosine? Tang yeah. tang tangent tang like girl why <laughs> oh siv coins on tangent um uh, 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 i know map <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't <laughs> like playing a shockboard on a turntable like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust an endless poem a meaningless load me Load me. Load me. Mm -hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where, where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. And also make it easy to read. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's almost like magic. Sometimes you will find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Oh, uh, mm. uh you never know when you might change your mind. <laughs> She's gonna blink now. Or when something unexpected may happen. Oh, I am preparing for a young a scare. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this tip even about writing? Mm. <laughs> what am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my Wink. advice for today. Uh, yeah, if you yeah, fucking blink, <laughs> I will throw this fellow at the screen. I don't trust her. Nah, we should say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she cannot be warning us. <laughs> I need to pee, man. Let's see what you've written for today. She's not gonna like it. Mm -mm. Mm. Well done, Misam. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Uh? It, it's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. You don't need to be afraid to, to be a little more daring. What do you mean? Metaphors mm -hmm. can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. What? Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. And write for down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your readers to see you, uh, into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. I oh, see. That's a certainly interesting technique. 
thanks for sharing. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me the poem. <laughs> it happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. Okay. The fuck? okay. My attention was caught by the scattering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that the raccoon that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. Okay. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon on an urge? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. The moon in increment increments its face and select f reflects that much more light of my cutting knife. Oh my god, she's going edge lord. Yeah. Mm. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. Oh no. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon comes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken uh, taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. Yeah. I can see that. It's a lot more uh, metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. <laughs> um. um. It's a bit close to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vid vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face va value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that's different that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Hobby? <laughs> It's those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Cutting bread. Huh, that's funny. My my favorite hobby is cutting bread. Yeah, I'm about to go, girl. <laughs> Feeding it to raccoons. Didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest? Uh, she, she did? Yeah. She was talking about how uh, how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She, she's right. Uh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have a lot in common. That's... well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. I, I really like manga. <laughs> yeah, I'm about, yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ah, please don't tell her I said that. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay. I have all the reasons. Well, thank you for sharing with me. After all, if uh, I had learned to embrace my own, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I probably would. I'd probably. Uh, bleh, uh, 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I might be ranting a little bit now, that's why I, I'm so incoherent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. <sighs> that, that That's cool. <laughs> okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I should say. I have something extra planned today. So okay. if everyone could come sit at Here. the front of the room. Put your blood in this bowl for a ritual. <laughs> yeah, I'm about... Mm. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Amanda Kuhn. Oh my god! <laughs> Kuhn. <laughs> is, is, this, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we have to do something for the festival? 
It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of get any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. Oh, trip that hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't really do well with the last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We just can murder people. <laughs> We don't need uh, much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I have designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually doing for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. No. We're going to be performing. Oh. Uh oh. Performing? <laughs> oh, oh, Monica. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, ha to be having oh a God. poetry performance. Each of us <sighs> are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and uh, recite poems too. Sayori is putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up to, for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You you didn't you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's yes. that bad of an idea? Well. No, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know? Mm -hmm. There's no way I'm gonna be performing in front of a group of people like that. Uh, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Uh, imagining a Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Sucks to be them. Mm -hmm. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of uh, overlooked that. Oh my God. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but. I still think we should give it our best. We are the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings! <laughs> Be intimate with yourself! Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finding new horizons! And having fun! That's right! I just don't like that Monica is only one standing extremely straight. <laughs> yeah, and no facing us. Yeah, facing us. Everyone so else odd. has like a natural feeling. Her eyes are so the far apart. <laughs> what about anime. Natsuki's <laughs> one motherfucker? Yeah. If she returned to the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be weak! I agree. <sighs> I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been I trying mean, really hard to get they new don't members. Have they don't have to read it. I mean, yeah. we could yeah. read it. But we need to read Yeah. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Nat Natsuki doesn't have an arg any arguments left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I will have to get over with it. Alright! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? <laughs> Yuri dejectedly stares, <laughs> glances around everyone else. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sigh. She didn't sigh. She said sigh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Ah, oh, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri, except when you're a fucking cunt! <laughs> oh, damn! Yeah. This club's is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. I will kill you. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> gosh. You will Don't be fine, Yuri. 
But anyway, let's move on to the main event. Okay. Blood sacrifice! Yeah, yeah. Blood sacrifice! 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 sacrifice. sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear lord. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. Take the ones that are short. Yep. Mm, please. We are going to practice reciting them in front of each short other. Short, please. <laughs> no way! Monica! This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Why not just read there? Oh no! I will start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Ah, uh -huh, of course. <laughs> now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the sp specific poem she had in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Oh no. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills oh. the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotions behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Uh, is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Finally, Monica finished her rec recitation. Uh, the four of us applaud. Woohoo! Woo! Monica takes a breath and smiles. That that was so good, Monica. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Oh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. <laughs> oh my God. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her heads down, he heads, <laughs> heads, her yeah. heads down. Oh my god, Damn. she has grown more heads. Oh shit! <laughs> no. She walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It it's called after image of a crimson oh eye. God. Damn girl. Uh, Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Hello. <laughs> Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? Sim. Because we said, do it, bitch. Sim, mm -hmm. sim, 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 sim. As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost uh, like that happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. You mean her heads. Heads. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality, glances around as she's bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm uh -huh. the first to start applauding. <laughs> Everyone joins me afterwards and gives Yuri the recognition she des deserves. Woo! It's not that she didn't want to applaud, but uh, we we were caught off so so much of guard that we must have forgotten. Yeah. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm next then. Time to assault your eye, eye ears. I mean, not your eyes. I mean, I can do that too. I got yeah. fuck. No. <laughs> rip stop. <laughs> no. So Yuri hops out of his chair and rips off her top and exposes her entire chest. No. Uh, I am Gaston. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Exposing her ripped abs. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> This one's called my meadow. Ah, ah ha ha. Sorry, I giggle. <laughs> 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 uh, Sayori, <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Ah, uh, 
try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine yourself reciting it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Imagine you're reciting it to yourself. <laughs> like in front of a mirror or in your own head. I see, I see. No, okay, like take my chocolate for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Sierra begins her poem. Somewhere it feels like her soft voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So soft. <laughs> Hey, I'm my soft voice. <laughs> you like that, boys? <laughs> <laughs> the poem isn't uh, aimlessly sheer like Sayori is. It's, uh, ser it's serene and bitterness. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. Sayori finishes and we applaud. Whoa! I did it! Whoa! Good <laughs> job, Sayori! <laughs> Even me, some liked it! <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? <laughs> okay. It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that the other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Uh, I don't really understand. Is it my voice? <laughs> <laughs> my soft, calm voice. <laughs> In other words, I have seen po poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I am so calm. <laughs> it's like Dumbledore. Mm -hmm. In the movies, I am calm. Oh, they God. might need a little bit more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just embarrassing to do in front of people. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that uh, challenges you a little more. Natsuki! <laughs> Don't make me before me some. Make me go before me some. Uh -oh. Fucking step up, bitch. <laughs> it's not like I can compare to you guys, anyways. <laughs> Might as well let me some lower everyone stand as a little <laughs> Dang, I do girl. it. Dang. Natsuki! Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I might as well get it over with. But it's not like you have much of a selection of uh, what to read. Everyone has their eyes on me. Oh god, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> mommy god. <laughs> don't look <laughs> at me. me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Potato, potato, strawberry, potato. potato. Doki doki. <laughs> fun. Friends. Daddy. Lust. Dad. Uh, night Papa. Night cat. <laughs> Despite Castle. that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Woo! That's your sleeves, you, Natsuki. Do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. <laughs> Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes uh, her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Ugh. What the fuck are we supposed to do, though? <laughs> because you're uh, presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Oh. Mm, Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her soul attitude, sour attitude, <laughs> oh, her soul. soul attitude disappears a little. Yeah, her soul disappeared because yeah. she hates yeah. this. Well, she's still a little uninfused. Her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if uh, giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everybody applauds. She huffs back to her seat. You better not make me do that again. Uh, well... You do have... You do at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people. I mean... Doing it in front of other people will be <coughs> way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, 
It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. A bitch. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you don't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It, it's been working out really nicely as so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we will finish planning tomorrow, and then we will have the weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day. I can't wait! <laughs> My God, I can't... <coughs> <coughs> I, can, I can do this. I can do this. All right. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. <laughs> Look at you two. Always go home together like that. Mm, it's kind of adorable, isn't it? <sighs> Jeez, you guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... I'm not supposed to respond to that. I wonder that too. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, me some. You don't have to say it. I know you love me. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, Sayori. <sighs> Sorry, I was spacing out. <laughs> uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like, like how we get to. Uh, I mean. Sari fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Natsuki asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Uh, oh shit, it's a no, choice! No. Oh no! Uh -huh. It feels like she gave us a warning. Yeah. yeah. I like both, I don't know. Ja. Mm. Fast bor inte vi typ... Jämte. Jämte. Sarajon. Jag, jag är inte vid so grannar. It would make more sense to walk with... Sarajon. Because we're neighbors. Yeah. I guess we walk with Sayori. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Sayori. You really think I would ditch you for Natsuki? Uh, but, but... She's so cute and fun to be around, you know, when she's not being a bitch. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> she's like listening in the bushes. You bitch. Yeah, I'm like, you fucking bitch. You yeah, bitch. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. Mm -hmm. And we are neighbors, so it makes sense, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not like I like you or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, me some. You think about me too much sometimes. Natsuki would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sayori, I have already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Oh, it's probably gonna happen. Mm. Damn. The conversation trails off. Parfait! Oh, uh, uh, yeah, she would like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Parfait nibble. <laughs> nibble. Parfait nibble. Sugar? Sugar. <laughs> uh, mouse. Mouse. Pink. Yeah. Pink. Anxiety. <laughs> uh, time? Time. Fuck. The zone. Puppy. Puppy. Hair. <laughs> Hair. <laughs> what? She okay? <laughs> Smile. Shame. Shame. Bouncy. Bounce. Bouncy. Imagination. Imagination. No. Fuck. no. <laughs> Uh, marshmallow. 
Fuckla. Games. Yeah. <laughs> Hopeless. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, so many. Yeah, it was a lot of bad words that popped up now. Yeah. Mm. Happiness. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Milk. Uh, strawberry. Strawberry. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh huh. You must have lo have a lot of determination. <laughs> Starting this club and now picking a piano. Well, maybe not uh, determination. But I guess passion. Passion. What's that Remember that the club wouldn't be here if I wasn't for all of you. Oi. Why? <laughs> and I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can't wait for the festival. I mean, like, it feels darker in the room. <laughs> you're distracted by that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, wait a minute. It's, it's gonna be great. Come. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. It, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Um, you sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna I think say. Yeah. Wait, what? Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward Why? to. Why? Are you into Cthulhu? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? It's because you're an evil overlord. Squid. <laughs> you of all people. <gasps> what do you mean? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because... That's right in your. Uh, that's right in your name. Mon Ika. Eh? <laughs> that's not how you say my name I'm at all. Slap my face, the <laughs> hair, and your yeah, face. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Also, that joke makes no sense in that translation. Oh, my God, getting very meta now. Mm hmm. Huh? <laughs> ah, uh, never mind. You're sus, man. <laughs> yeah. Are you breaking the fourth wall because you have an evil overlord that is a giant squid mm -hmm. and called Cthulhu? Mm -hmm. ah! So you're sitting at the desk in the corner of the room Ugh. looking down at nothing. Mm. I walk over to her. Um, hey Sayori. We I wave my hand in front of her face. Mm. <gasps> we should not leave her alone. You are spacing out again. Uh, 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 sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Uh, oh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori so shows me a big smile. Hmm. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, come and join. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, alright, if you say so. I wordly glance at Sayori before turning back to everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed uh, anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging her rubber eraser up and down her desk. Mm. Uh. Maybe there's something on her mind. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she she's never really like this. She always talked to me about things that bothered her. Uh, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Mm. Uh, sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything so I will drop it now. Oh no, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And she's my sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe I will try to talk to her myself. Mm. Eh? Are you sure about that? You seem... You, she seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just having a hard time bringing it, bringing it up with the person of interest. Oh. Mm. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Misam. Oh, oh, me? Are oh, you pushing a wall? How on earth? Oh, how on earth would you <laughs> come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Mm. Huh? Mm. It's oh, like an extra light uh, was turned on inside of her. What? What? No way. Sayori is always like that? She she oh. has always been full of sunshine. Sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, You're I don't like. So funny, Mesa. I don't like that. Have you thought that maybe you you have always seen her as a as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she is around you. Mm. Mm. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I do? Anyway. I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget the, what I said. I will try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. I don't trust her. Mm -mm. uh, Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. <laughs> I know so she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up to stands up from her desk and walks uh, across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori Whoa. and gently talk to her. Go and kill yourself. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear from here. Uh oh. I gotta need a pain. <laughs> <laughs> she walked up and whispered that to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me some be like, okay, just go to Hey, the you. <laughs> huh? I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you gonna use? Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so. Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just. Natsuki glances down her side. Oh, well, whoops. Oh. <laughs> I clicked. <laughs> She's holding a volume manga in her hand. Oh, that's right. Something just came up for a minute. But, uh... But we can get started now. Read manga. I won't make you wait any longer. Sheesh. Now you're gonna make me feel like a jerk. <laughs> it's something... If something bothering you, you can just tell me... It. To leave you alone and I will. I mean, assuming you don't feel like talking about her or anything. She practically mumbles oh, the yeah, last totally. part. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I have just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Sayori? Think about her? Uh oh, she jelly. Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. Oh. Natsuki exhale. <sighs> well, first of all... Oh no, here we go. You should really work on your phrasing. Uh-huh. But anyway... You're her best friend, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah? Then, in that case, I think you, you should trust her a little more. If she needs you, then wouldn't, it, uh, wouldn't you be the first person she would go to, right? Well, mm. I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's... Not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. 
Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If you need, if she needs you to worry about her, then she, it will be more obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, don't get the wrong idea or anything. We have just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... Ooh, I was not! We're not friends! <laughs> Yeesh, if you're fine, then let's hurry get started already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I pulled the first volume of Perf of Perfect Girls out of my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands, then quickly turns over, presumably to shake her for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? <laughs> I don't give people my manga every day, you know. <laughs> That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. Ooh. So you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? When, uh, where uh, did the mon uh, uh, this volume leave off again? I forgot. Ah, the chapter ended w uh, when Minori and Alice found... Monica? Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. Huh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up uh, on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Ah, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in the closet. So I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. Just had to organize it a bit. Shit, fucking tell <laughs> <laughs> The top shelf is so far above yeah, Natsuki's like, head. Oh, she on. should know. That fucking bitch. She makes a futile oh. hop trying to figure oh. out how to reach her manga. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Did she do it on purpose? <laughs> yeah. This is like, so inconvenient. Fuck? Yeah, she should know. I mo I'm moving these all back down. Yeah, because she can't reach it. Plen there's plenty of room on these shelves. Yeah, she did it deliberately. And besides, mm -mm. Mm -mm. girl, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Yeah. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Ah, Natsuki. There's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too short or something? <laughs> you look like a fucking <laughs> child, bitch. <laughs> Shut it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Well, you know what? Just watch me, bitch. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> Natsuki no. hops onto the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. <gasps> Careful! I know what I'm doing. Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to re easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. <laughs> Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Yeah. The box suddenly suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls on the floor. Mm. The stool wobbles. <gasps> Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. There! No need to prove yourself to me. I'm not short. <laughs> There's no way you will be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I should. I can do it. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. 
The classroom chairs have uh, the desk attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Oh my god. Ah! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's de desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its oh, wheels. No. Oh no. Back the, over to the closet. Ah. It's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Natsuki climbs onto the chair, then slowly balances onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the doorway and simply watch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! There we go. See? I can't do it now. Oh no. Natsuki grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below. Ah! The chair swivels. Natsuki oh, no. catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold hold the chair instead of instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who was who was it who told me not to help? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. Uh, I can. I can almost see up her no. skirt. No, Misam. <laughs> I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realizes, I'll be dead. <laughs> Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait girl's box set, easily the largest one in the shelf. Uh, heavy. Hey, Misam. I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry up and take this one. Uh, but then I have to let go of this chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. Oh, all right. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way, all the way back? Huh? Natsuki looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, Natsuki the box. What are you looking at? Oh my god, pervert! No. Yeah, too. Uh. <laughs> no. He's trying to look at my, my panties. <laughs> oh. Natsuki's legs shake. I'm not. I was just. Natsuki, don't, don't try to move. Just give me the box. You've <laughs> You set me up. Go away. Get out. Oh my god, head but by. Uh, I'm doing myself. <gasps> the chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki? <laughs> the scene turns into chaos for a split second. The chair flies from underneath under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands, and the books go flying. I got you. Bonk. Ah. Crash. The full force of Natsuki's body against me throws me to the ground. Ah. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Oh my god. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight onto my chest. Oh no. Ugh. My right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. <laughs> Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. She presses her arm against... No, straight into me to prop herself up. <laughs> Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor beneath her. Oh, no. Gross, gross. Oh my god, you touched my pee pee. No! <laughs> god! god. A fist pounds into my chest. Eh, pervert. Natsuki then hoists herself up to oh her feet. God. What were you thinking? The, the bitch, excuse the me. Yeah. Chesiko! Everything okay over there? Are you flirting? I will kill you both. With my <laughs> man. I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica? See what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Sheesh. Sorry, sorry. Why is she smiling? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. 
You seem like your recent club memories are total pervert. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. So I hope you're happy. I didn't. Somehow it's impossible me for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear. I know, I know, don't worry. I am always Monica says, uh, says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh no. Why, why? Huh? I look down. Natsuki is kneeling onto the floor, holding one of the books that are, are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal, diagonal, uh, diagonal, uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> crease <laughs> along the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Oh, it must have landed on the page. Natsuki tries a, a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Aww. Aww. Sadness. Suddenly she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it on the floor. Oh, damn. Mm. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Oh, she's crying. Oh, no. What the Natsuki, hook? are you... No! Natsuki's voice squeaks. Ha ha. Uh, Aww. I see tears on her face. Aww. Aww. I will help you get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No. I don't even care that much. I'm just... Having a real bad day today. Oh. Why is everyone having yeah. a bad day yeah, today? What the hell? Atsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. Oh. Really didn't mean to. It's 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 fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Yes. Every day. It's so hard. Oh god, are you all depressed? To... Oh yeah, why? Is this the depressed club? Yeah. I just want to come to the club and... Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright. Well, I can help clean this up. And I will mow the rest of your manga for you. Ah. I pick up volume 2 of Parfait Girls. We will set this one aside. This will help you shore up a bit, right? Oh my god. We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. <laughs> you're, you're really nice to me. Aww. Aww. Huh? That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. Yeah, she's finally dropping the sundere fucking yeah. facade. <laughs> I didn't expect it at all. Well... I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? <laughs> no. Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I can do. The next couple of minutes are silent between us uh, as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done and hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get uh, on the, the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of the books from the top, she top shelf. Alright. That should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Thanks. Uh huh. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> Let's go. Natsuki is holding the volume I set aside in her hands. Oh Alright, I'm ready. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> Even if you weren't, <laughs> I w I'd, I'd make you anyway. Taking responsibility for what you said. Think about sharing me up. If, if you insist. Yeah, maybe we should pause. Yeah. yeah. I need a pee. <laughs> What is this? What? What the hell is this? I don't know. Oh, this is part of the game. I was like, have I been hacked? Yeah, I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> I got scared. What the fuck? 